Good afternoon, my name is JR with Superior Rubber and Mulch and I'm here today to do a small test to show you basically the difference between a standard SBR rubber crumb and a pigmented rubber crumb that done in our plant in Sedalia, Colorado. We're going to do a small comparison between those two products as well as samples of material that are using a pigmented binder itself. All products are the same using uh, one to four millimeter rubber from Liberty Tire. This is a sample of the red superior crumb rubber that we have colored at our Sedalia plant. This is a sample of the green, again uh, using the Liberty Tire uh, one to four crumb. This is a sample of just the straight one to four uncoated SBR. This is a sample again with one to four millimeter but it is using a blue pigmented binder from Polyval Coatings and beside that we have a red one to four millimeter sample with pigmented binder from Polyval Coatings. All of these samples have been prepared with the same 20 percent binder content for all materials. What we're going to do now is put them in this template at two inches apart to see how easily these products either can break or how quickly they're going to stand up. Put that one in there JP. Fold that right over. And this is the product that we have colored in our Sedalia plant. Okay, give me the green. That's the red. Do the green. Put that in quickly if you don't mind. Okay, that's there. Now take the black. Now notice this is a black SBR uncoated product. Okay, look at that. Right away it breaks. Try the same with the green. Oh, with the red. This is polyval coating pigmented binder. It's doing the same thing. Instant failure. This is the red from polyval coatings. Same thing the samples break immediately. In comparison, you can see that the superior rubber mulch are holding well. That's because we have a superior bond. 